what was I thinking when I came up with this? I was thinking I wanted a way to combine two different drives, maybe two different drives that people were kind of confused about, kind of thought, well, they're green. They might sound the same, or do they sound different? People tell me all kinds of things. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to pair up two drives and to like be able to split those famous circuits apart right in the middle and allow you to choose whether you take the Nobles ODR1 clipping or tone section into the clipping or tone section of the Tube Screamer. I wanted you to be able to have two new sounds that you'd never heard before. So that way I could give you four in one. So when you do a project like this where you're trying to get classic circuits, classic circuits that are vintage circuits and circuits that, and sounds, pedals that people are emotionally attached to. They've put on hit singles. They know it works for them. You have to create that exact same feel with this pedal. And so I had to go purchase tons of these uh, $1,000, $2,000 uh, Nobles pedals and Tube Screamers 808s with the famous 4558 chip in there. And so we get these things and we listen to them and there's a whole range of sounds that you get. So again, it's, it's a matter of capturing the right feel getting the players here in Nashville to listen to it and go, yeah, you captured the thing that makes the, the magic part of that pedal for me. You captured, you know, the, either the gain or the tone or the way, the way the compression feels. You've captured all that. Yeah, you did a great job. And, you know, it's not, they're not exact clones of the, of the pedals. They're, they're not. We had to move things around to capture what people expected it to feel like. So, and as, of course, sound like, so. I started by putting each circuit, each complete circuit for two very familiar sounds together and in the pedal with those dual pots controlling it. Um, that allowed you to explore what makes each of those very familiar drive pedals sound the way they do and what happens if you looked at each half of them independently. So with the, the four pedals in one type of thought that I was talking about earlier, you can also compare it to amp modeling. In amp modeling, you'll take a preamp out of, say, a Fender and put it to the output section of a Vox or an output section of a Marshall. And you might um, even choose different cabinets and get different open back or closed back cabinet sounds. Well, this, that's what you can do with this overdrive because not only can you select, say, which preamp sound you want or which EQ section you want, like your tone stack, you can pick that. You can pick the type of clipping you have, like a hard clipping or a soft clipping. But also, in the hybrid modes, because of the way that the drive section interacts with the tone section in those modes that are unique, it, we find that it, you can simulate open back and closed back cabinets with this tone control, because of the way it moves things. You know, in the beginning when I had this idea, I thought, oh, this will be simple enough. We just do a couple little switches and jump between one sound and the other sound. But when you really get in to study these circuits, uh, sometimes it's very difficult to recreate the feel of these circuits, especially when you have the objective of wanting to run one part of the circuit into the other part. So we built both of these things completely analog. There's no digital switching of any, any of the components. These are the genuine circuits and they have to work together. So you have to, it wasn't a simple matter of just copying a schematic part for part because we had to get in there and recreate the way that the pedal feels. And that's challenging, you know what I mean? Our, our components are different than the components that they used back then, but we could get in there and figure out what it takes. To, we find out that when people are playing with it, that it's like, hey, I, I dig the hybrid sounds the best because it gives me the best of both worlds. I have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it still has that amp feel that I like. It just has crispier top end or something like that. So mission accomplished. I got people to have two new sounds, something unique that, that hasn't been done by combining two old things. So it's not like, it's not like they're stacking. It's not like I'm taking one pedal and driving it into the next pedal and you're getting, you know, two different sounds that way. 
No, it's, it's each circuit has two big elements to it. The tone control, which follows the, the drive section. All, all drive pedals are kind of that way in general. You do the distortion first or the clipping or the saturation, and then you apply a tone control to it. So that because all pedals are that way, it allows me to do this thing where you can have two hybrid modes where you pick one section's drive and one section's like preamp or tone section. My favorite part of the new Noble Screamer is of course our own enclosure. This enclosure has been a couple years in the works because I had to find out what machines we needed. We needed a turret punch to punch the holes and we needed a press brake to bend the, the pieces. And uh, I loved the results. So I, I knew we had to move our entire drive line and all of our pedals eventually into the new enclosure. The new enclosure is very cool because we can control the size of the cutouts and we can put things exactly where we want them. We're not limited to any shape or any angles necessarily. So it's been really exciting to see our products now grow into our own uh, enclosure that we build. This pedal is switchable between true bypass and buffered bypass on the fly. I, I, I don't think there's anything else that does it quite like this. So literally you can press the button down for two seconds and switch between this thing being a true bypass for people that want to have true bypass and be able to essentially plug right into their amplifier. This pedal will get completely out of the way if it's in true bypass mode. But what I like most is the, our buffered bypass. Not only does our buffer sound amazing because it does its job, it's, it, it uh, keeps your signal intact to feed your amplifier right or go through cables, but it is truly silent. Anyone that's had experience with relay controlled true bypass pedals know that there's always a click. There's always some sort of sound. I wanted that perfectly silent buffered bypass sound so that when you click this pedal on, all you get is effect. This is just the first look at what you can do when you can combine two circuits and you get four different possibilities in one pedal and you get our brand new enclosure and you get the most amazing switching system in the world all for $1.99. So I can't wait for you to check it out.